name is Katsy Steffen for Access Hollywood, and I am so, so, so excited to be joined by Greer Grammer, the star of Netflix's Deadly Illusions. How are you doing today, Greer? I'm, I'm good. How are you? I am so good, and I've been looking forward to this interview all week because I am obsessed with this movie. <laughs> I watched it the first day it came out. I saw it in the top 10 on Netflix, and I was like, what is this? How excited are you at this response that it has consistently been in the top 10? Everybody's talking about it. Did you expect that? Oh my gosh, absolutely not. Are you kidding? When we made this movie, we were basically making like a small independent film. We had no idea that it was going to go to Netflix. We had no idea kind of what we were doing with it, but I absolutely was not expecting this response. And it has been so fun and so cool to see like, just the way that everyone's receiving it, whether it's positive or negative, like either way, like I'm happy that people are just watching it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And it's so exciting to see you getting this level of recognition because I'm a fan of yours back from the awkward days, of course, but I'm so excited that more people are getting to know you. I mean, what is this reaction? Like, are your family and friends like so excited that you're skyrocketing? <laughs> Oh my gosh. My friends are so excited. I actually caught up with um, a girlfriend from college last night and she was like, how cool is this? And I was like, I know I still don't really like fully understand it. I it's, it's felt, you know, slower since awkward. So it's like, I mean, I, I, I gained 20,000 followers like in a week on Instagram and I have not seen those numbers since awkward was on. And so it's like, just crazy to see the different response that people are having to see them like discover me especially in this light because it's so different than what i usually play or what people expect from me so it's just been it's been really cool to see the way that it's like hitting people and to have people discover me for the first time or to see me in a new light like i've had people be like lissa i did not expect that from you girl and i'm like i know <laughs> Well, and speaking of how different this character is for you, I was so surprised to see you in this role and it's so complex. This character is a lot more than meets the eye. Grace is not the girl you think she is at the beginning. Were you at all hesitant to take on a character like this that has so many wild layers to her? Oh my gosh, of course. Um, I mean, at first, like, cause Anna pitched me the idea because we had worked together on a previous film. So she came, sat down to me and was like, I have this idea. I want you to do it. And I was so on board. I was like, yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I've never gotten the chance to play anything like this. And then the actual like reality of having to play this character started setting in the closer we got to doing it. So when it was just an idea, it was like, oh my gosh, of course I want to play that character. Of course I want to do it. And then when I had to actually do it, I was so nervous because I was like, oh my gosh, what are people going to think? Am I going to play this well? Am I actually going to be able to do this? Um, I've never done this before, but it was so fun and so rewarding. And that's what you want as an actor. Like you want roles that you can sink your teeth into and that are complex and that have so many different sides to them. And that's what Grace has, which was so fun. Like it was so easy to play the nice warm, innocent girl, because that's what I'm used to playing. And that's a part of me in my life, but then getting to play like the complexities of her and the shifting and the changing was so fun. And to get to tap into like the sexy side and the like crazy side, like that was so exciting for me because I never do it, but it was, it was nerve wracking. I was really scared on those days that I came to work. <laughs> well, let's talk about that sexy side because you had some little risque scenes with Kristen Davis. Were you a Sex in the City fan before this? I mean, what was it like getting to work with her and share the screen? And how did you guys make each other comfortable in those scenes like that? I, so of course I'm a Sex in the City fan. I mean, I don't know what girl is in at any age. I mean, I think it's just one of those shows that everybody watches at some point in their life. Um, I did tell Kristen at one point, I was like, it's funny because I was 16 when the first movie came out. So I remember seeing the movie before I had ever watched the show, which is so silly, but like, I mean, I obviously wasn't younger than 16 watching Sex in the City. So after the movie is when I started watching the series and like, I'm definitely a Charlotte in my friend group. So it was so kind of like cool and fangirly to get to work with Kristen. Um, we had a lot of, you know, crazy scenes together and 
she was so good at making me so comfortable. I mean, she was so great at setting boundaries. She would tell me about different scenes on Sex in the City that were like nerve wracking for her when she had first started. So that was really nice to know. And just like her comfortability made it so easy to be comfortable in those scenes. So yeah, it was really, it was, it was a lot easier than I expected it to be. I was very nervous going into it. And I was like, I don't know if that, you know, I don't know how to, I've never done scenes like this. And she just made everything so nice, so warm and just like so comfortable. And that's all you could ask for in those moments, because I can't imagine doing them and not feeling comfortable. That would be awful. <laughs> of course. Well, you guys had fantastic chemistry. And this relationship was so interesting, but you know, I have to ask you about the ending. You know that everybody's going to click on this interview and want to know what happened at the end, because I watched it and I just sat staring at the screen for like five minutes. Like, what did I just see? What's going on? <laughs> so I'm curious, what do you think happened in the end? <laughs> Okay. Okay. So this is a really good question. And here's the thing. The point about the ending is that you're not supposed to know, right? Like it's supposed to be like a draw your own conclusion. I definitely will relate it to like Inception. Um, not that I'm saying our movie is like Inception, but the way the ending makes you feel where you're like, wait, what? Like that kind of same reaction of like, what's real, what's not, which is, you know, the whole point of the movie. So that's my like, producer, actor, like answer. As a fan, when I first read the script, I lost my mind. I was like, oh my God, just like everyone else is doing. And I definitely think it's Grace walking out, but I don't like, that's not an answer. That's not a confirmed answer. That's just my own idea of what's happening. Like, I think she did something. I think she pulled some stuff and I think she is getting out of that hospital, but not like, that's just me as a fan. As an actor and someone who worked on the film, I can say I have no idea. I don't know what the intention is. Um, it, you're just supposed to make your own mind, but my theory is that it's Grace. <laughs> that was my theory too. So I'm glad that we're at least on the same page. I know it might not necessarily be canon, but <laughs> yes. I'm happy to hear it. No. I've had some people that have been like, I've had some people that have been like, it's Mary. And I'm like, great. I'm so <laughs> glad you think that. I think it's Grace, but like, that's a cool ending too, that they just, she's just going on her merry way. Well, it has to be great that either way, people are talking about it. I mean, either way, I've gotten in full-fledged fights with my friends about who it was, what was happening. We had a Zoom party to watch this movie. <laughs> I love that so much. Are you kidding? That's amazing. Oh, of course. This is the perfect movie to watch with your girlfriends, to just like yes. have a fun little Friday night on Zoom, drink some wine, watch this movie. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> now, speaking of kind of how this, a lot of this movie is left to the imagination of, oh, is this in Mary's head? What's really happening? How do you grapple with working with that as an actor playing in these scenes that could or could not be what's real? <laughs> it's hard. It's really hard. Um, I worked with my acting coach before going to set. We spent a whole week together just going through the scenes beat by beat. And figuring out also like, where is Grace? Where is Margaret? And what moments do they come in? Like that kind of stuff that, that all comes down to, to learning about um, multiple personality disorder. But, um, oh God, now I forgot the question. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like playing, um, no, not necessarily knowing what's real or what's not in those scenes? <laughs> there we go, there we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, was, it was really hard, it was really fun. Um, you just have to go scene by scene. That's that's the important part of that is just trying to figure out what reality you're in and at what moment. And it is difficult, but as long as you stay on track, like I had it all written out in my script. What was what, who was who, who I was playing to, like was I playing to Dermot's character? Was I playing to Kristen's character? Um, was this maybe a fantasy or is it not but you have to find Annie did a really good job at directing me and helping me figure out what was what in each scene like is this reality is this not but still even in the moments of playing like it was an illusion still keeping it real so that the audience can't fully tell and they're taken on that trip 
don't know if that made any sense, but oh, it, it absolutely did. <laughs> well, Greer, I am so excited for all of the success that you're having with this movie. I can't wait to see what's next for you. And I'm honestly going to go Google and try to find a hot pink swimsuit for this summer because you made me want one in the movie. <laughs> so thank you. I so love much. that swimsuit. <laughs> obsessed with it like I it want it great. I seriously it's loved great. all of your outfits in this movie but that was <laughs> <Just>. <laughs> well thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me.